Hello everyone, welcome to the Tableau video on how to create a text table. Um, basically I have my Tableau screen open, I'm going to scroll down to save data sources and I'm going to use the sample Superstore data. Um, so if this is new to you, um, you have a bunch of dimensions here which is kind of qualitative data. Um, so you have things like category, subcategory, um, the year, the state, um, things like that. And you also have these measures down here. So you have um, stuff like profit, sales. Um, these are more of the numbers here. Um, so we're going to create, I'm just going to kind of show you how to create um, some basic stuff in a text table. And I encourage you to do some creation on your own um, because you're not really going to understand this stuff unless you um, really just play around with everything. Okay. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. Um, so I'm going to start with the order date. So if you just double click that, it drags, or you can basically, if you double click, Tableau will kind of default to a row or a column. Um, and Tableau defaulted this to a column. So basically, if you don't like double clicking, you can go back and you can actually drag order date into the column as well. It does the same thing. So just take notice that the columns are the vertical lines. So if you think of an Excel spreadsheet, um, we're just adding the four years of data Tableau has, 2017, 2018, 2019, and 2020, in the vertical column. So these are the columns, and then the rows are the horizontal um, also. So we need some, uh, maybe we could do it by category also. So I just double-clicked category. So now we have furniture, office supplies, technology um, in the rows. So we're kind of building the structure of our table. Alternatively, so again, you can click the back button or click Control Z. Um, you see up here, I like the keyboard shortcuts, but you can just go up here and click back and back and forward and forward. Um, again, play around with this stuff. That's the only way you're going to learn. Um, so now we have category in the rows. You can either double click or drag into rows. I just double clicked and we're creating this basic structure of our table. And maybe we'll create subcategory. So I just double clicked subcategory. Um, here you can kind of drag this stuff over to. Um, now we have a pretty good looking table. Let's see what happens if we do product name. So depending on your user design, uh, this is a lot of data here. So I might go back and say, I don't really like how that works. Um, what could we add here that would be interesting? Um, so we're just kind of, I'm just trying to create a layout of the structure of the table. So you could, if ship mode makes sense to you, I just went back, um, segment, um, corporate, home office, subcategory, furniture. Um, this looks kind of like an interesting structure for a table. So now we need some numbers. We don't really have anything going on in here. Um, we just have a bunch of text. So if you want to expand the table down here so it looks a little more even, because uh, remember you're building this for someone. Um, so what numbers should we do? Let's start with sales. So I just double clicked that. A good way to understand what's really going on is this text here, this little text button corresponds to this text ABC. So if, if you double click, it'll automatically add it to what's called the marks card. Um, but if you drag sales over into text, that also adds the sales numbers into the card as well. Um, so if you really want to get the feel of what's going on, start by dragging stuff into these little buttons and see how, see what changes with Tableau. So basically all I did was drag sales numbers into text. Now, if you don't like these sales numbers, you say, well, sales are not the very best way to represent what I'm trying to represent. You can just click down here, drag it back over and just kind of drop it anywhere and it just goes away. Um, so maybe you want profit, so drag profit into text. All right, so 
I'm going to stick with sales because they're bigger numbers and it's kind of interesting to look at the bigger numbers. Um, maybe make the table a little bit bigger. And this looks like a pretty good table with a lot of detail. Um, so it's kind of a pretty basic way to create a table, a text table in Tableau. And you might want to add a little bit more depth. So if you want to um, incorporate profit, so you could drag profit, for example, into color. And then you could say, well, these are the sales numbers, but the profit actually represents um, the color. I like to change the color, especially when creating like business type tables. So if you click on the color button, click edit color, go to palette, automatic, red, green, diverging. So the profit, basically green is good, red is bad. Click apply and click OK. Um, so now you have a table where you have big sales numbers. But for example, this 27,000 might be pretty good, um, for example. But it's also red, which means it's probably not very high in profit. Uh, so, you know, adding this data, creating the table, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you can do some little adjustments here. You can change the view here if you go up to entire view, um, depending on how you want to do everything. Um, it might be a little too crowded now, but it's really up to whatever you want. So if you're trying to get a good, for example, look at furniture bookcases for the corporate in 2020, you know, it looks fairly good. Um, it's pretty red though. So if you're like, well, what do tables do? So it just depends on what you're trying to do. And if you want to do a little bit more here, so I mean, these numbers are big, but they might not be the numbers you're kind of looking for. Maybe you want to do percent of the total sales. So if you go into your little marks card and you go to sum of sales, you can actually change this really quickly. So if you go click on the down arrow um, for percent of sales or on the down arrow, arrow for the sum of sales, go to quick table calculation and highlight percent of total. Um, you'll get you know some of these numbers. Basically, you need to do some reformatting. So I just drag this over. You can still see everything. But basically, you'll get uh, more of the percentages, which might be a better accurate representation than just random numbers. So now we have um, the percent of total of sales for category, for subcategories per year um, by the segment. And then we have the profit meeting um, whether, you know, red being a more not, uh, not so good profit and the green meaning, you know, a better profit. Okay, so now you have a basic understanding of how to create a text table, and I'll leave it up to you to go from there. All right, thanks for stopping by, and happy visualizing.